I'm obviously not a doctor or a rocket scientist. So they didn't invite me here for my intelligence level. So I have the most important question, though, for all of you. Precisely how much ice cream and cookies can I eat (laughs) (laughs) and still live to 90? I don't need 100, just 90. Are the cookies made with butter or are they made with... Well, hopefully naturally. Like, how much how much junk food can we eat and get away with? And what junk food do you recommend we can kind of, you know, be still healthy and still consume? Well, it depends on you. It depends on your age. It depends on, uh, like, if you're a woman, are you pre-menopause? Are you in menopause? Are you a marathon runner? Are you a sen- sedentary office worker? Are you nursing a baby? Are you, like, you know... All these factors, like there's no one diet that's right for everyone. And there's no one diet that's right for you throughout your entire life. It changes. And so data is critical because like we do very sensitive blood labs on people. And we look at, let's say, hemoglobin A1C, which is a marker of how well your blood sugar has been controlled over the previous six weeks. And then we do insulin and glucose and your and lipids and, you know, inflammatory markers and all of that. And if you start seeing a climb in your insulin or your hemoglobin A1C or your lipids or your inflammation, then you got to back the carbohydrates way down. So what worked for you before may not work always. 